always there for a friend. Prince Harry looks smart in a navy suit as he joins close pal Barack and his wife Michelle at the first Obama Foundation summit before taking to the stage at the event. Prince Harry and Barack Obama have become fast friends, and he was one of the many high-profile guests at the former U.S. President's first Obama Foundation summit on Tuesday. The 33-year-old British royal was photographed sitting in the audience at the two-day event held at the Marriott Marquis McCormick Place in Chicago, Illinois, a few hours before he took the stage with Melody Hobson, the president of Ariel Investments and chair of After School Matters. Prince Harry sat one row behind Obama and his wife, former First Lady Michelle Obama, who were all smiles as they took the stage at the Global Summit aiming to cultivate a new generation of leaders. Our goal is not to present some fixed theory of how change happens, Obama said during the opening session. Our goal in this session is not to pump you with a whole bunch of PowerPoints, data, and information or a blueprint for how you can go back and do what you're doing even better. In many ways, we want to learn from you, he continued. In other words, this is a big brainstorming session, it's a big hackathon, he said. Obama looked dapper in a suit and a button-down shirt, which he wore sans tie, while Michelle was as stylish as ever in a cowl neck blouse and plaid dress pants. When the they weren't on stage, the Obamas were seen sitting in the audience, leaving some space between them to hold their papers. Prince Harry also opted for a business casual look, sporting a blazer, trousers, and a button-down shirt that he left open at the collar. He appeared to be fiddling with a pen that he was holding in his hands while he kept his eyes locked on the state in front of him. Prince Harry later joined Hobson on stage to hold a conversation about the ways young people can help drive community engagement. He addressed the roughly 500 young civic leaders and community activists chosen from 20,000 applicants from around the world, for what the Obama Foundation promises will be intensive workshops and opportunities to share ideas. Prince Harry stated that the younger generation in the world has turned him into an optimist. We have to listen to the younger generation because they are the cure of some of the world's biggest problems, he explained. Although she didn't appear to be in attendance, Prince Harry's girlfriend Meghan Markle is a 2003 graduate of Northwestern University, which is near Chicago. The gathering in the Obama's hometown was organized by their eponymous foundation, which is also building the former president's library in the city where the former president got his political start. The Obama Foundation's goal is to encourage and empower young people to create positive change in their communities, David Simas, CEO of the Obama Foundation, said in a statement earlier this month. Among the attendees highlighted by the foundation was Trisha Shetty of India, who started the organization she says to combat sexual abuse against women. Other notable speakers include Matteo Renzi, the former Italian Prime Minister, and Hamdi Alakea, founder of the Kobani yogurt brand. Chance the Rapper, a socially active hip-hop artist who was born and raised in Chicago, has helped organize the concert finale. I want to help inspire and empower young people to change their world, the artist said in an email released by the foundation. Chance the Rapper and Gloria Estefan will perform in a public concert to cap the event. Earlier in the day, Prince Harry and Michelle made a surprise visit to speak with 20 students at Hyde Park Academy, a high school located across from the future site of the Obama Presidential Center in Chicago's South Side. The warm and wide ranging conversation, lasting over an hour, covered how the Obama Presidential Center will showcase the South Side of Chicago for a global audience, the importance of young people staying inspired and hopeful, and the transformative power of students using their voices to change the world, Caroline Adler Morales, the former First Lady's communications director, said in a statement. Prince Harry and the Obamas are firm friends and have appeared in public together several times over the years. Obama has thrown his support behind Harry's Invitus Games, a Paralympic-style event for injured servicemen and women. Last month, Obama and Harry were seen enjoying a warm, lively chat as they took their seats courtside to watch wheelchair basketball at the Invitus Games, which took place in Toronto. It later emerged that the former president had quizzed Harry about his girlfriend Meghan during their chat. Obama enjoyed a hugely successful state visit to the UK in 2011, when he and his family stayed with the Queen, and last year he and his wife had dinner with William, Kate, and Harry at Kensington Palace, where they met Prince George.